Here with Evan Batty. Evan, uh, you're still kind of working your way back from the ankle injury, right? Yep. How much rust do you feel like there is still kind of to, to work off at this point? Rust? Yeah. You mean like from the ankle? Yeah. Oh. Um, it's, it's, it's sore because I, mean, I heard it yesterday in practice. So, I mean, it's really sore and tender right now. But um, just getting it taped up and getting it warmed up usually does a trick. And I can, um, I can do almost anything in practice. Some stuff hurts more than others. I just got to push through, though. I'm sure that had to be super frustrating going over to Europe and not being able to participate, but just the experience in general, did you still feel like that helped you just being at practice every day? Yeah, just being at practice every day. I mean, I got hurt the day before we left to, to Italy, and um, that sucked because obviously I didn't get to play in Italy, but um, just being over there, experiencing the culture, uh, all the different customs they have, kind of just the food, the um, traditions, the dancing, all those little things that they do over there are just so different from like us in America. So that was just a great experience to be a part of and just be with the team and just help coach and encourage my team through those games in Italy. Between the Italy trip and the, the training with the Navy SEALs, have you guys started to form that bond, you know, the older guys in, in your freshman group? Yeah, definitely. I mean, after the weekend with the Navy SEALs, I mean, the um, understanding of your brother is so much more heightened now that like McKinley right here, I guess my brother, Dom's my brother, Dallas, all my brothers. So it's kind of just like, they just, they just really- Brothers. <laughs> brother, right? Brothers. They kind of just really pulled us up by our bootstraps and just made us really tie together and be in one family and really prove that we're one family. Cause we said we're one family. So they were like, all right, prove it to us that you're a family. On the court, what do you think you can uh, provide for this basketball program this season? Uh, just toughness and, and energy and excitement. I mean, I'm, I like to be physical. I like to push around. It's always fun. And then just excitement and morale, just boosting my guys up and just being positive. And in terms of just your body transformation, what, what, what's the ultimate goal there? Um, I mean, my goal was to get to 275. I'm at 270 right now, so. Oh, wow, okay. I mean, I came in this summer at 295. So, I mean, just, just getting as healthy as possible, I mean, it's probably the, the most accurate goal. There's no really limit on it, like we always said, as long as I'm not losing muscle mass, just keep eating right and just keep eating the right stuff and just keep working on it every day, I'll be fine. How dramatic of changes did you have to make to, to get down to 270? Um, you know, it's just, it's some pretty big dietary changes, you know, just like, um, I don't really eat dark meat anymore, so I don't eat beef, steak, pork, I just eat chicken, turkey, fish. So I just eat those meats and then um, a lot of vegetables and just, in the morning, no like sugary, no like pancakes or French toast and stuff like that. Just like eggs and maybe like if it's turkey sauce, and eat that. Okay. But then um, to, I have two two um, apples a day in between breakfast and lunch, in between lunch and dinner. So I mean, they just don't eat late at night, and then yeah, and then all the working out would do will fall into place and just all tread down from there. And you're a big guy. You you want to kind of keep that size, yeah, right? Yeah, that's definitely a big part of my game is being big and being physical and being able to push people and use my weight against people. So as long as I'm moving well, though, I don't see a problem. Seems like you're you're enjoying life uh, in Boulder so far, based <laughs> off your Twitter. Yeah, I mean, um, I go to all the sporting events just as much as I can. I go to volleyball, I go to soccer, I go to football, obviously. So um, I mean, I just like to. I'm just so happy to be here and a part of the community part of the school and just you can see it in, in my in my expressions at the games I'm just happy yeah. to be there just happy to cheer on the team is there been a, a favorite thing that you've enjoyed about being here at CU as a student athlete so far uh, probably just interacting with the fans you know just going when you go off campus and you just you know a, a fan comes up and says like hey Evan like, how you doing probably that just that interaction between the fans and the team and the community that's probably the greatest thing greatest feeling being a player and just being able to interact with the community now you're trying to watch what you eat, but is there a favorite restaurant that, that you have in town yet? Huh. I like going to Pasta J's. Okay. It's, uh, if I have like a family member in town or something, I like, hey, let's go to Pasta J's. It's one of the it's one of the spots. So um, Pasta J's probably the one. Cool. Thanks, Evan. Appreciate it. No problem.